Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watts Solds which will be for last weekend, April 14th through the 16th. Y'all, I had an amazing, amazing weekend in sales on eBay and eBay only. Um, and then this week it just kind of went, and then this weekend's been uh, not so great. But that's just, that's that's the game of eBay. So you just got to hang with it. But trust me, when it starts doing this, I get just as frustrated. It's, you know, you think I'm doing all this work and, and I'm not being seen at all. And you just kind of like, okay, come on eBay, fix it. Fix it for me. But it is what it is. And, you know, at least I'm getting the ups you know, and not this. So I, I'm happy. Um, let's see. Y'all, if this weekend is any sign about how yard sale season is going to be for us, I don't know what I'm going to do because I bought so much stuff this weekend. And y'all, I've mentioned this before in previous videos. There's a new rebel when it comes to yard selling and estate selling right now. I'm trying to be more picky. I'm not going to buy a whole lot of my bread and butters plush. You know, I'll still buy my loveys. Um, and I will definitely still buy vintage plush because that is my first love. And those are the things that I, I like saving them to get them to people who are going to cherish them for, you know, the nostalgia and replacement stuff for long lost stuff. Just all of that. But y'all, just wait. I made a post, in, Robert made a post in my Facebook group just about what happened this weekend. But I have tons of vintage plush to share with you guys. Tons. It was an amazing, and just not even the estate sale. Every yard sale we stopped at, it was only vintage plush. That's all I was picking up all weekend long. It was just amazing. Amazing. So, all right, let's get to my solds. Like I said, sales have been awful on the other platforms. I had only had one sale on Etsy the entire month, but this weekend I had a really, really good sale, way over $100. Um, so I'll be sharing that next weekend. And I'm going to lament again about Poshmark and Mercari. I do not know what's wrong with those. You know, I see lots of posts on Facebook about everybody seeing a major decline in sales. I, last year was my first year on Posh, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but I have over 4,000 listings and I'm not selling anything on there. I just keep telling myself, just like with eBay and Mercari, well, in Etsy, fourth quarter. Let's just get to fourth quarter. All of this work is gonna be you know, beneficial for me then. But again, I got to pay my bills, got to pay my bills. So, you know, I got to keep making sales now, but those two platforms have just been very underwhelming, very. All right, so I have two to share from Mercari and two from Poshmark. This first one is a Walmart lamb plush, seven inch, sold for $9. And then this Target dog plush, 10 inches long, sold for $7. Very low bread and butter sales for me on there. And then on Poshmark, I sold the Chaps Denim Petite Women's Jeans for $18. And then this is an art glass ashtray. Pretty sure I picked it up at an estate sale, probably for a dollar or so. And it sold for $21. Now for eBay. Now I want to remind people who haven't been watching my channel for very long. I don't do free shipping. So if when I say something sells like this item for $11.66, the buyer also paid shipping. And my shipping for under a pound is flat rate. So, you know, I make a little bit of money. If it goes to the West Coast, I don't make very much. But if it's, you know, stuff around me. So I, I am making a little extra on my shipping to help pay for the fees. But, you know, I just wanted to make sure people understand that, that 
You know, I'm not, you know, when I sell something for $8.96, they've paid shipping too. So if you're trying to compare me to anybody else who does free shipping, it's going to look like my prices are lower, but you just have to remember that I don't do free shipping. So the buyer has paid extra for that. All right, this, this is from my almost a year ago. Um, no, two years ago. Yeah, the Hybrid auction that I won where I bought lo lots of advertising plush. This is from Sally Beauty. It is an 8-inch bear. It sold for $11.66. And then this is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Karen. Karen picked up this Coles Rainbow Fish plush for $12.51. I think I just did a... I don't, you guys probably haven't even seen it yet, but I did a haul on the Rainbow Fish. And then Disney Eeyore Bank Coins. I pick up most things Winnie the Pooh. I just have a fondness for them. Um, and this bank didn't sell for a lot, but I probably picked it up at the bin. So I have very little in it, and it still sold for $8.24. And then this was a recent pickup, I think at an estate sale. It's a Just Cross Stitch kit um, by Marie Barber. I want to say I paid a dollar or two for it. It may have been a Ben's thing. Y'all, by now, because we're starting to do more estate sales and yard sales, it's going to all start getting jumbled. But if you've been with me long enough, you know I don't pay for a whole lot for most of this. Um, so... It's all mostly profit for me at this point. This kit sold for $28 best offer. Fisher Price Little People Vehicles. These are the newer ones. They're just not as popular. Of course, I love the vintage Fisher Price. I go ahead and lot these up in two or three vehicles to a lot. And um, I went back and forth with this buyer, but I just, just relented and went ahead and sold it for $10. Mione by Aurora. I love Aurora. It's such a good quality brand, I think. Um, this is a Sea Otter Plush 10 inch, sold for $8.05. Right now, I'm sending out tons of offers. So I have a sale running on the weekends. Usually it's 10%. Sometimes I go a little bit more. Um, and then I send out tons of offers. And it just seems to work for me. Now, this is just a little teeny tiny ornament. It's a flocked, which is that kind of, just kind of rough coating that's on some of the vintage stuff. I'm pretty sure this must have came out of the box lot of Christmas ornaments I bought earlier, probably last month at an estate sale. Um, sold for $7. Just a very basic Christmas ornament. But Christmas in May? No. April. Christmas in April. Now these. These I picked up the one and only weekend that we did really, really well at the Finders Keepers. It was their opening weekend. Everything was a dollar. We bought two large carts of just tons of stuff. Um, but this was some of them also. They were called BYO by Built. They are like a, you open them up and they're like a placemat. I lotted the three of them together, so I would have paid $3 for all of these, and they sold for $17.95. This came out of a um, haul bag from the bins. I know there's more of these. I remember picking up several of them, but so far I've only found this one. I have like 13 more bags, I think, to go through. But it's just a little three-inch Gudetama Lazy Egg Flush. It was still in its original bag. Sold for $8.96. Playmobil. This came out of the a recent uh, haul from the St. Louis bins. I, I picked up a whole baggie of these, and this was everything that was in there. But it was just Playmobil, a lot of um, kid figures, a few older ones, and then the horses. I just decided make it easy, just lay it all out there, and it sold very quickly, probably within a day or two of listing it, for $22.45. Let's 
Now this was in the gift box that Molly sent me. This was a Cote Bundi Brown Plush by Banana Bay. It did make sounds and it sold very quickly also for $17.95. Gorham by Ariana. These Robert picked these up probably last year and I sold out a whole bunch of it all at once and then it just kind of sat here for a while and then all of a sudden I'm starting to sell stuff again. I sold one little salad plate for $8.05. These are Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse items. This was kind of a hodgepodge. I had the table with the two dining chairs. I just went ahead and threw in two of the blue chairs to go with it. Sold for $17.95. Lolly. Fisher Price Lolly. I've got a couple of these listed now. The one that's up there now is the one that Molly sent me because it was in better condition than the one I had. But I actually, this is another one that I had purchased recently. Um, this is from 1975. There's a pink one who's Lolly and then there's a blue one whose name is Cholly. Um, this one sold for $12 best offer. This is a Kid Books Elephant Plush. I'm assuming it came with like probably a little board book for toddlers or babies. Um, very cute, $11.66. Gons, this is probably Webkins because it has that H number on it. There was no code, which it's supposed to say no code, but I'm seeing NP code. <sighs> Y'all, sometimes I don't catch these. A lot of times I don't catch these. It sold for $8.96. Walmart gray plush. Again, probably up from the bins. 13 inch. A lot of times when you have that darker undercoating and then you have like white or gray tips on the fur, I call that frosted. So that's just a keyword to keep in mind. Um, this one sold for $17.95. Pyrex Westinghouse Beehive Clear Mixing Bowl. This came with I think it was a Sunbeam, I think, mixer set that I picked up. I think it had several mix matched bowls and stuff. Usually I end up parting all of that stuff out. I'll sell the beaters by themselves, the bowls, sometimes the turntable, all of that gets split up and sold separately. This took a while to sell and it was a larger bowl. So thank goodness Robert packed it for me, but it sold for $13.45. Applause. I love that brand. This is Emily Rabbit. Is musical 10 inch from 1987. Sold for $24.95. I think Applause, Dakin, Eden, all of those just are some of my favorite brands and I've got a lot of them that I picked up at this estate sale this weekend. Fancy Nancy. This is from Jack's Pacific, 12 inch, 2010. Sold for $9.15. Y'all, let's, let's discuss this issue. This sold for $14.95. It's a Disney Angel Plush Pillow Cuddlies Purple. I did not list it for $14.95. Even in my spreadsheet, I listed it for $49.95, but it sold before I caught on to it. And I'm saying this because this isn't the first time recently that this has happened to me. I listed a plush lot very recently that was supposed to be listed, I think it was for $129.95. I just happened to be looking through my um, offers to likers and it was on there for $14.95. The thing is, is it had been listed for five days, hadn't sold, which that tells me really there's something going wrong if you can list something that with such a difference in price and it not sell. Well, I mean, this one sold very quickly, of course. But it's not the first. I've had several instances where 
I go and something's not right. Anybody else hear of this happening to other people? Because I know I can do silly things like NP instead of no, but I'm very careful with things that I'm listing. I really am. And this has just kind of made me like, I'll list stuff, I'll list like 10 things, and then I go look at my active listings just to kind of look through what I've listed to make sure everything's looking right. But this, it sold, and I mean, I still made a profit, but it, this has started to just concern me. How about that? Concern me. But I'm slowing down just to make sure it wasn't me. But it's happened too, off, too often recently. All right, Hasbro My Little Pony Pinkie Pie sold for $9.95. The thing again with this is it sold for full asking price, but it was a delete and sell similar, and then it sold before my next sale. So I still swear by it, still swear by it. And there's Five Nights at Freddy's Red Foxy Plush. Now there are some that sell for a whole lot. I think... Trading Post Pickers and I was talking about this the other day. I think it's the ones that have like teeth showing. Don't quote me for sure, but I went back and looked and the, the one that I sold for way over $100 had like silver teeth showing. So um, anybody else know, is that is that the difference? I know it's exclusives, but is it the ones that are showing teeth? Don't know. Dakin Ladybug Insect. Plush from 1981, sold for $10 best offer. And this too came from the Hybit online auction that I won. There was a whole bag, uh, like a paper bag full of like 10 or 12 different sipper straws that had different Disney characters on it. Um, this was 101 Dalmatian. It sold for $8.24. This is Hasbro, the child baby Yoda plush, talked to, from 2020. I thought it was going to be worth more, but nope, sold for $10 best offer. Now, this is, this is one of those things. I have a shelving system sitting upstairs that's full of eBay items that are mostly like these kitchen stuff that needs cleaned and tested, and it just keeps getting piled up. So one day couple of weeks ago, I just decided to pull off a whole, probably five, six items and just deal with them. And this was one of them. It's a Farberware super fast percolator coffee maker. Worked great. Sold for $23 very quickly. I've got so much stuff up there. All right, another viewer sale. So thank you very much, Erica and her son, Colin. Colin's been kind of looking through my store and chose this item to purchase. It is a Nintendo Yoshi Red Plush. I picked this up from TN Pickers. Um, we all did a yard sale here recently, and I went ahead and did a little shopping in our own little yard sale, and this was one of the items I picked up. It sold for $11.66. Disney Parks Lion King Plush. This one sold for $8.96. Now let's get into some of the bigger sales. This is what made my sales pretty decent for the weekend. This is Russ Druffy Dog Plush. Now I'm not sure if this was an original shirt to it, but this is how I found it. It had an Arkansas Razorbacks shirt on. There was not much for me to compare it to, so I threw a higher price on it. It's been listed a little while. I'm thinking this might have come from the bins. Um, so I got an offer of $45, and I thought, let's do it, and it's gone. So definitely $45 for a Rust Plush. Oops, that's not a high dollar price. This is a My First Doll. I pick up lots of these. They are in all kinds of different brands. Carter's, Kids Preferred, um, Baby Starters are just some of the ones. Uh, Fisher Price has some. Um, I just, I would like to pick them up. I don't keep a lot of them. I have one little 
box that I keep all of them in and it never it never has to go anywhere else. These this one sold for $8.96. It's just usually a child has lost one or a parent is buying one as a backup. Dandy Dog Plush Easter Bunny Ears. Told you I buy a lot of like plush that has rabbit ears and they tend to do pretty decent for me. Um, this one sold for $11.66. This. Carter's Terry Cloth Lamb Sheep Flush Rattle. Um, I couldn't find anything very similar to these, but the fact that it was Carter's, it was Terry Cloth, cute color block, which is like when you have distinct, you know, separation of the colors. Um, I just picked a really big price and it took a while. Like a lot of plush take a while. Uh, you know, I try to remind people of this all the time. You know, plush can be long tail. I've got the space. Now who knows about this weekend, how much more space I'm going to have, but I have the space to list a lot of plush and then wait. Um, but this is definitely one of those ones. If you don't have the space, be looking for it because it's definitely worth the, the cost and the space to, to store it. This sold for $80.86. Now, I wanted to pause here just for a second because I keep forgetting to do my commercial, and I really appreciate all of the support that I get from the viewers of my channel. Things that you can do to help support me. First and foremost, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. You know, it helps me in the algorithm. You know, do the likes. Send me a comment. I have lots of wonderful viewers who just send me an emoji. Appreciate all of them. Um, also, I, in my banner, I have lots of links to, like, Mavely, um, which is a which is a link that actually takes you to Walmart. We have a couple of things in our shopping list on there, um, but anytime you use one of my links like that to go shopping for the next 24 hours, I get a small commission for anything that you purchase. It doesn't even have to be anything I've got on my list, and I, I get the small commission. Also, if you want to sign up for any of the tools that I use, like Wholesale, WorthPoint, List Perfectly, um, if you haven't um, subscribed, did a subscription for American Bubble Boy, I do have links for all of them also. So I just appreciate everything you guys do for us. All right, last two. All right, Fisher Price. Rumple's Dog Plush. Now, I picked this up at a thrift store for $1, but it has lots of issues. If it didn't have issues, this is like one of the harder ones to find the dark brown dog. He's from 1993. He had lots of paint wear to his eyes. And any collector who is going to restore him, that's an easy fix. Um, it, the, the stuffing just seemed to be all shifted around. Um, and there was some discoloration to the fabric. I noted all of that. I have it in pictures. But it still sold for $60.84. But a best sell is this. Picked it up at an estate sale. I want to say two or three dollars. Didn't realize it till I got home that the Bible that was inside of the box was still sealed, which brought the price up really high. It's a really good Bible to be looking for anyway. It's called the Blackaby Study Bible. This one was black bonded leather, but again, it was sealed on the inside. And it sold for $185.89. All right. I'm thrilled with that weekend sales. You know, for all of the bread and butter that I sell, it's still very encouraging when, you know, you get to sell stuff that's a lot higher. And, you know, I'm looking forward to this week, starting to process through all of this amazing vintage plush that I picked up this weekend. My, my bin stuff's going to get pushed to the side for a little while so I can work on these because y'all know I love the vintage plush. And so that's what I'm going to focus on for a little while to give myself a little joy, right? But, all right, we've all got lots of work to do, right? Bye.
my hair, my hair. <laughs>